Aardemarchen, Aardemarchen. Aardemarchen, Aardemarchen. Who said it? Who said it? Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Whiskey Whims with me, Stuart. Today we've got Arden Merkin, uh, AD012101. Uh, I'm not really sure what the numbers mean. I think it's the dates. But uh, this is their second release. It's bottled at 46.8% ABV, uh, matured in 65% bourbon casks and 35% uh, sherry casks. It cost me £45. It comes in... Uh, quite a nice box here, or well, I think it's quite nice. I like the um, the uh, kind of atlas look, the map on there. Uh, almost reminds me of um, what do you call it, uh, Lord of the Rings, or some sort of some sort of kind of uh, <laughs> fantasy uh, map like that. Anyway, the way it's done. So yeah, quite cool. Um, I'm not going to go into the box too much. It's a recycled box, um, renewable and stuff. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Uh, yeah, £45, non-chill filtered, uh, no added colouring, 46.8% ABV and the distillery itself is owned uh, and was built by Adelphi who are an independent bottler uh, along the same lines of other independent bottlers that own distilleries like um, I think Hunter Lang or with uh, Arden Ho, they, 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 they built Arden Ho, you've got uh, Gordon and McPhail who have Ben Romack and you've also got Signatory who own Edra Dower and Pitlochry. It's 50% peated and 50% unpeated spirit as well. Uh, so there should be a little bit of uh, peat in there. Yeah, if it wasn't on the nose, if it wasn't for the peat, I would have thought this was some sort of funky lowland. Stevie gave me this blind one night and I actually thought it was a lowland out with the peat. But because the peat's there, it kind of throws you off and makes you think it's not a lowland. They are a, a highland malt. Not island or isla or anything like that, they are a highland malt. So yeah, it's a little peaty, like a kind of, um, like a kind of creamy peat. Kind of vanilla there. There's some wet cut grass that, that reveals or makes it evident that it's quite a young malt. I, I don't know what the age of this is, I think it might just be just over three years. To me, I, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I would say it's under five year. Um, it could be maybe five year old. I, I don't know, I don't. I wouldn't be able to tell just on the nose, but there is a kind of a kind of young uh, aspect to it on the nose. Yeah, more vanilla, sea salt for sure. It's got a little bit of a maritime feel to it. I do believe that it's on the, the, the coast, uh, on the seaside. And I want to say something like olive oil, uh, yeah, some sort of kind of oil like that. Not a bad nose, nothing too complex. I feel, like I said, a little. The the, the young element is a little uh, evident, a little bit too evident for me. But it's not. It's not like off putting. Um, it's not like a horribly young uh, spirit. It's 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 holding up well for its age. But I don't think it's um, anything terribly mature. The uh, the palate, the palate is quite fleeting, which is unusual. But there's 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 creamy peat, there's uh, dark cocoa powder. It's uh, a little, it's a little oily in the mouth. Um, quite a nice mouth feel to be honest. It's nothing nothing horrible, but the the flavours are a little fleeting. You kind of need to be quick to get them. There's a little bit of a, a tartness, um, there's some malty elements there, uh, possibly something like honey on granola, uh, dry granola. But it's weird how, how quick these flavours these flavors kind of uh, dissipate in the mouth. There's um, some juniper there and it's a little bit spicy uh, in the palate but that's probably got to do with it could be part of the sherry casks, like, like I said, 35% of the makeup. It could be a little bit of a, a spice from that, or it could be a little bit of a spice from the the um, young maturation or the young element to it, because uh, it's a little prickly in the tongue, but 
once again, it's nothing uh, horrendous, it's nothing that's uh, too harsh um, or going to throw you off. Uh, as you can see, I've not had a, a huge amount out of this, but I, I feel like it's time to review it, as I, I feel like I've, I've, I've had enough to review it. Uh, it doesn't seem to be changing too much. It does change in the glass after some time, um, but I feel like too much time in the glass ruins this whiskey. I feel like this is one that needs to be kind of uh, poured and drunk rather quick. Uh, which I've never really experienced before, but it just seems like the flavours are a little fleeting uh, in the palate, and I'm not sure if that's got something to do with it. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I've got on the palate. Decent enough palate, quite uh, quite complex, and the real flavours there. The the finish, the finish is medium. Uh, I'm just going to take a little bit more. There's a little bit of like kind of dry, dried hay, dried grass, kind of hay element there in the finish. Linking to the um, maltiness from earlier is that dried hay, that dried kind of barley, um, milled barley or something like that. Uh, there's a little bit of a, a menthol aspect, but it's quite a yeah a medium finish. It's not long at all, um, but it's not obviously short, <laughs> terribly short. The tar element from the palate is kind of slowly evolving and developing into a more bitter um, experience. Uh, like I said, the peat's still there, the peat's still evident, it's evident through, it's pretty evident through the whole whiskey, it's more subtle in the nose, but it's evident in the palate and the finish, um, and also with the finish there's probably this kind of generic herbaceous uh, flavour or, yeah, herbaceous element, I'm not sure what that would be, it's just very generic, uh, so yeah, not too, not too bad a whiskey, but nothing really outstanding um, so yeah we'll get down to the way I, uh, I'll get down to rating this whiskey and I'll leave this here for a bit so I rate my whiskey on three factors uh, and that is would I buy it again would I recommend it and do I think it's worth it uh, and then if it gets two out of three it's a whiskey win if we only get one out of three uh, it's a whiskey bin um, and I think I'll have to say as well I'm struggling with new distilleries and picking up new distilleries and getting into them uh, there's not been a few, Arden Morgan has been one, I've enjoyed like I said the first release uh, and I've got a couple cast strengths that I've enjoyed um, but yeah we'll get down to this before I get off track anyway so would I buy it again, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy this one again the first release was great and, and like I said I've had a couple cast strengths that I've enjoyed but this one I am struggling with it, uh, it's not one I tend to reach for uh, as you can tell and yeah like, I just I wouldn't buy it again, would I recommend it? Now. I don't want to say I wouldn't recommend it, because that's pretty harsh, but <laughs> um, but just to contradict myself, uh, or to go back on myself, I wouldn't recommend this whiskey because, um, and not because it's terrible, it's just, it's quite average I feel, uh, it's nothing like the Nuknean whiskey where I felt like that was just not a great whiskey, it wasn't really whiskey, this is obviously whiskey, it's got a nice PL and a nice maritime feel, but it's very generic, um, and dare I say a little characterless? There's there's not anything uh, like stand it, standing out to me. Uh, but anyway, I, I don't think I would recommend it. The reasons being because I would recommend the, the first release if you could get that again if it, if it's reasonable priced. Uh, I don't know how many bottles. I think there was about sixteen thousand bottles of this, uh, and I think the first release was about seventeen thousand or so. But yeah, I wouldn't buy this one again. Like I said, the first release was nice, and the samples I had, and the couple cast strengths that I've had. Uh, I'd probably buy them again, but th this one I wouldn't buy it again, uh, and I wouldn't recommend it for that. For that, yeah, <laughs> I'm getting confused now which point I'm on. But yeah, I wouldn't recommend it, unfortunately. And do I think it's worth it? Forty five pound. I can't knock it for forty five pound. I think it's worth forty five pound. It's um, yeah, it's just generic. It's 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 forty five pound a little steep. I don't think so. Uh, I think they've obviously put a lot of time into it. I think they're focusing on the right things, uh, I think they're trying to do things right, um, for me this just hasn't hit the mark, the other ones have, uh, but I still think this is worth it, it's it's, it's a single malt whiskey, non-chill filter, no added colouring, it's got 46.8% um, ABV, it's got a kind of unique, uh, unique character to it, or unique, not character, unique uh, composition or, 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 or components, uh, the fact that it's 50% Peated and 50% unpeated, 65% bourbon and 35% sherry. Um, they've obviously thought about these things and the reasons they've chose these 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 components uh, and the reason they've built it this way. 
And yeah, it, it's not worked for me on this time, but I don't think it, I don't think I, I, I would say it's not worth it because it's it's just it's one you could probably switch off to. Uh, you wouldn't need to think too much about, it, and you could just drink uh, if you wanted something peated, a little peated. If you wanted something a little uh, kind of dare I say plain, um, just something to switch off to rather than really think about. This is probably the, the dram. Uh, so I'm sorry <laughs> for the bad review. I really wanted to give this a whiskey win. But I was thinking hard about it, I've wrote, written some notes, I've done some um, tasting, trying to think what this could be um, and I was kind of on the fence about it and it's not until I've just been drinking it now and speaking in front of the camera that I, I have to be honest and it is a it is a whiskey bin for me unfortunately. Um, but we will have more Arden Murkin for sure, There's like I said there's a cast strength of what you're reviewing, there's a couple other things uh, but just this time it hasn't hit the mark. So that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes you, you, you don't like it and sometimes it, other people like it and that's just the way it is. Anyway, before I start blabbering on, uh, I've been Stuart, this has been Whiskey Wims, thanks for watching, I'll see you later.